when Scott Wingo touched home plate and the ball went down into the right field corner, time stood still for me. It had been ever so fast, and then all of a sudden it stopped, and then it took off again, and we're still rolling. We are extremely honored as a baseball team and humbled of your gratitude and your passion to celebrate such a wonderful championship. Coach Ray Tanner addressing the crowd at today's parade celebrating the University of South Carolina's national championship. Good evening, everybody, on this Friday. Thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Dawn Mercer Plank, and it was another day celebrating the national championship in Gamecock country. Tens of thousands of fans showed up for today's parade honoring USC's big win. When I was out there earlier, the spirit amazing. And these fans unbelievably proud of their team. Collegiate Baseball has named Coach Tanner its National Coach of the Year. That will be added to the long list of awards the coaches received after his team won the College World Series. Today, the University of South Carolina flag flew atop the State House Dome for the second day. By law, remember, only two flags, the U.S. flag and the South Carolina state flag, are allowed to fly from the Capitol Dome, although the governor and or General Assembly can change that in special circumstances. A national championship evidently qualifies. The national championship is being honored by thousands of Gamecock fans everywhere. Even the mayor of the city of Columbia is celebrating. Now, therefore, I, Stephen K. Benjamin, mayor of the city of Columbia, do along with my fellow members of city, Columbia City Council, do hereby proclaim July 2nd, 2010, as Coach Ray Tanner Day and Gamecock Baseball Day. Mayor Benjamin also gave the team a key to the city. It was his first official act since taking over as mayor. This win is a big deal to Benjamin as well. He's a graduate of USC himself and was student body president in 1993. He spoke of the team's accomplishment. And whereas during the 2010 College World Series, the Gamecocks had two straight wins over rival Clemson University. And the town of Lexington also declared today USC Gamecock Baseball National Championship Day. The players and coaches say they're humbled by the win and they appreciate the fan support. This was a tremendous, tremendous last 48, 72 hours. But it makes it ever so special that you have been here to share it with us. Again, we are honored and we are humbled. You are the greatest. Thank you very much. Loyal Gamecock fans came from all over for today's celebration. News 10's Jillian Capobianco talked with them. Gamecocks! Go, 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 go! The excitement surrounding today's parade was obvious. Main Street turned into a sea of garnet and black. Fans came from all over the Palmetto State to show their love for the national championship team. The Mons family made the near hour drive from Newberry, hoping to see their favorite celebrities. Cocky, Jackie Cocky's wife, Jackie Bradley. Jackie, Jackie Bradley. 40 year long fan Keith Turner traveled from Spartanburg. How exciting was it to bring home a national title? Best day of my life. I never thought I'd live to see it. And this group came from an unlikely place. Clemson. Yes, I grew up there, but uh, got some sense when I got older and became a Gamecock fan. <laughs> These Clemson residents, but Carolina fans, took the day off from work to celebrate with their own kind. It is awesome. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. I know many, many fans have been waiting on this day, and it's, it's nice to bring it back to Columbia. Restaurants didn't mind the many visitors invading the capital city. The patio at Zoe's Kitchen was full as patrons cleared their plates. It's been really great. A lot of people want to sit outside. But today was not about business. It was a day for all Carolina fans to come together and celebrate their first men's national championship win. Jillian Capobianco, WIS News 10.